Hello coders, I welcome you all. As you know, we are working on our project water portability prediction using machine learning, right? Let's take a quick look at our journey so far. We have conducted several experiments and identified our best model. We are logging everything using MLflow on desktop. Also, we have created DVC pipeline with our best model. Also, we have registered our best model in the MLflow model registry, which is available on desktop. In the last video, we have created CI pipeline, means CI workflow, continuous integration workflow, and performed two tests. First, model loading test. This test to verify if the model loads properly from the MLflow model registry or not. Also, we have performed our second test, performance test. Performance test to check whether the model meets our specified thresholds or not for accuracy, precision, recall and F1 score, right? So these two tests we have completed in our last video. And as you know, if the new model passes this test, we promote it to the production. Otherwise, not. This is everything we have achieved so far in our project, right? So the question is, what's next? So in this video, we are going to create an API for our project using fast API. This is also called as model serving. There we are going to perform in this video. So as I said, we are going to create an API for our project, this particular project, water portability prediction using machine learning. And we are going to create our API using fast API. You might be knowing I have already covered fast API in this particular playlist, our MLOps playlist. So feel free to check that out if needed. So let's begin our discussion. So the API we will create will load the best model from the MLflow model registry hosted on desktop. This model is automatically promoted to production after passing the test mentioned in the CI pipeline in our CI workflow, right? Please recall our last video. After that, we are going to perform predictions based on the user input data. So let's get started by creating an API for our project, water portability prediction using machine learning. So let's jump to VS code. So this is the code that we have discussed in our last video. So first right click over here and let's create new file with name main.py. So I have created the code for the API. Let me show you this. So you can see this is our code for the API. So which is exact same as we have created earlier. The only difference is that here we are fetching the best model from the MLflow model registry that we have stored after conducting various tests that you can see here. This is only the difference. Otherwise, I am using exactly same code that we have used. So as you can see, first we have to install fast API like this pip install fast api in bracket all let's press enter now done let's clear this now let's visit our code once so first here we have imported necessary libraries and as you can see here we have created fast api instance and provided the title and description so app which is our fast api instance right that we have created over here so please remember here providing title and description is optional, but it helps in documenting and understanding the purpose of the API. So that's why here we have given title and description. Otherwise, both are optional. So now let's move on. As you can see here, we have set the MLflow tracking URI that we are doing since long, right? You must be knowing this, right? And here I have created one function with name load underscore model. So this function will load the best model from the MLflow model registry, which is currently promoted to production. Let me show you this. Let's move to desktop. So this is the current version, version 10 in our case, which is in the production that we are loading over here. You can see best model currently in the production stage. So for this particular model here, we are fetching run ID and here using run ID and our model name, we are loading our model that you can see. And here we are calling this particular function and storing in this particular variable model, right? In short, here we are loading the best model from the MLflow model registry, which is currently promoted to production. In our case, version 10, right? Now let's move on. This is our first endpoint. This is also called as root endpoint that you can see with this particular decorator and method get with forward slash. 
means is act as the home page of our API. Please remember this, right? So this is our root endpoint, which act as the home page of our API. Next, our second endpoint, which is called as prediction endpoint. Again, you can see the decorator with post method. And this is our prediction endpoint. This endpoint allows users to provide data to the model for prediction using this post method. And you can see for each and every features, I have created one pandas data frame. So this input will be provided by the user. Don't you worry. I will show you this practically. So if someone hits this particular endpoint, our prediction endpoint, this particular function will be called predict, right? To receive data from the user. So if someone hits this particular endpoint, predict endpoint, this function will be called. This predict function will be called to receive data from the user. And here you can see water colon water. So here we have created an object of our data model. You can see this is our data model. And as you can see, I have defined this data model inside this particular file main.py. But also we can define in a separate file as well. But here we have created it in the same file for now, right? So the water class defines the structure that you can see fields and types means feature and type expected for the data passed to the prediction endpoint here. Right? I am repeating this particular data model and here you can see water class defines the structure feature and type expected for the data passed to the prediction endpoint this particular endpoint and that we are using over here right our data model and here you can see object of this particular class water that you can see that we have used over here. So as I said this particular endpoint our prediction endpoint allows users to provide data to the model for prediction using this post method. Hope all of you are clear with this right. So please remember here we have to provide feature in this particular sequence because we train the model based on the sequence of these features. So I am providing them in the same sequence starting with pH hardness and so on right. So we have to maintain this sequence first pH then hardness then solids and likewise because we have trained our model based on this particular sequence. Please remember this. Now let's move on and here you can see we are using predict method for the model that we have loaded over here right for prediction on this sample data right this particular pandas data frame and data will be provided by the user right. So for that we are performing prediction over here. So here our model predicts whether water is consumable or not based on the values of the given features. Right? 1 means water is consumable, 0 means water is not consumable. Right? So this is our API. Hope all of you are clear with this. So this code is very simple. Right? Here we are importing necessary libraries. Here we are creating an instance of fast API with title and description. Here we are setting the MLflow tracking URI. Here we are loading the based model from MLflow which is running on desktop. Right? This is our data model for feature and corresponding types. This is our first endpoint, our root endpoint also called as home page of our API, right? So if somebody hits this particular endpoint, this method will be called and display this particular message. So same, this is our prediction endpoint, right? This endpoint allows users to provide data to the model for prediction using post method. If somebody hits this particular endpoint, this method this predict method will be called as simple as that right and here we are performing prediction on the user input right using our model that we have loaded from MLflow model registry which is running on desktop right and here as per the prediction value we are displaying the result whether water is consumable or not. So now let's run this code. Let's open new terminal to run this we have to use this particular command uvcon main colon app hyphen hyphen reload. So here main refers to the file name main.py right without the dot py extension here app refers to the fast API instance that we have created over here. This one and hyphen hyphen reload makes 
you we can restart the server when you make code changes this is particularly useful during development let's press enter now let's move the cursor over here and follow link you can see welcome to the water portability prediction api this is our home page our first endpoint right our home page now let's hit our second endpoint our prediction endpoint now we are going to use swagger ui to access this particular endpoint our prediction endpoint so for that here we have to write docs to access swagger ui and you can see this is our predict or our prediction endpoint let's click over here and let's click on try it out and let's perform prediction here i am providing some random values right just for testing let's press this particular button execute you can see for this particular values water is consumable that you can see here means we can say that our api is working properly right so please remember here our api is performing prediction using the model which is available inside ml flow model registry right and inside production stage right so our api is performing prediction using this version version 10 which is inside production stage hope all of you are clear with this right just to check let's print run id let's save this and you can see this is the run id let's check 5f double e let's move x up this is our latest model you can see 5f double e which is the latest version of the model available in the production stage you can see same run id let's check you can see both are same means our api is performing prediction using this particular model which is currently in the production stage our latest version version 10 hope all of you are clear with this how to create an api for machine learning project and here we are loading our model from the ml flow model registry and the model currently in the production stage i hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel if you like this video smash that like button thank you very much for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next video